What are you guys doing? Oh, shush, 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 shush. Oh, yeah. Craig does this every day. We moved out to LA because he told me he pulled off his dream job as an action star, but uh, that wasn't true. Sometimes he practices gun draws in the mirror. Don't move. Cut it out. Get on the ground. Get up. You get on the ground. Free! Looking pretty good, slick. I know. Mmm. Ne never mind. Wait, is this about that goddamn dog thing? Wait, what? Well... Chris and Owen don't believe I'm responsible enough to have a pet, but I want my own greyhound so I can start taking him to the tracks, training him, getting my own money. So, shaving your face, putting on slacks, and carrying around a dog leash doesn't make you any more responsible. Seriously, Shane, this whole thing is ridiculous. No one in their right mind would think that this is a good idea. You ready to go? Craig, where are you going? We got a meeting about getting him a dog. And we're late. Oh, Fuck. Yeah, let's go, dude. All right. Wow! I know, right? How ridiculous that he shaves his beard and gets a dog leash and he thinks he's Mr. Responsible. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you know, he may be on the right track here. You've got my attention. Look, I'm suggesting that we take this opportunity to become more responsible and buy a shit ton of weed. Okay, okay, yeah. I hear you loud and clear. That's a yes. good idea. I was, didn't know you were gonna... I was thinking about that earlier. Okay. You know, yeah. very responsible. Excuse me, what? Well, we need to put up another sketch video online, but the ones we've been putting up haven't been uh, doing too well. So we're thinking that it's because we don't smoke enough weed, you know, like the already established comedy writers. Like your Danny McBrides. Ex precisely, yes. precisely. We used to smoke a lot, but our dealer hasn't been texting us back anymore, so. Probably he lost our number. Probably got, he probably left town or okay, something. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know about this making any sense, but I know a guy on 9th and Cleveland and uh, he can sell you guys some weed. Thank you, Peyton. Oh. That's really nice of you. But, uh, okay. We're just gonna have you guys go ahead and, and do all this shit, there's you know, unpack and all that shit. And there's a lot of, there's yeah, a lot of it. No, so we'll go get the weed. Yeah. Yeah. We're not right. doing this! What? Is this the right place? Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, I actually meant to ask you, how come, uh, how come you and Beth didn't stay out in L.A.? It seemed like it was a pretty dope gig, you know? Yeah, I ran into a, a little bit of a problem in a few auditions. Yeah? It's nothing big. Like what? You remember how, when you're a kid, you're taught to stare in the camera and just smile? German guys, they've taken over. Your bald partner's dead. They show up, right? What are you gonna do? Go. Hey, German scum, eat my bullets. Yeah. yeah, let's just say it was a little bit of an issue for me. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, dude. Don't beat yourself up over it, you know, man? Thanks, man. Hey, you, you wanna buy a dog? Yeah, I want a dog. So, uh, what are you guys here for again? <laughs> weed. We're here for weed. Lots and lots of weed. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on, brother. See, I can't do that, but I can get you guys some alcohol. Well, well, that's fine. I mean, we can just go to the store and buy alcohol. What we need from you is some ganja. See, I'm fresh out of weed, but I could hook you guys up with some real nice alcohol. Only charge 10%. Eh? None. What's with the beer? Fuck you, okay? Look, my doctor told me specifically that I need to have beer in order to deal with my anxiety and other problems like that. So we got beer and other things, okay? It doesn't, look, it doesn't even matter. Totally normal response. Good. Well, the whole weed idea didn't really work out. Uh, we decided that if we do want to be Hollywood caliber writers, what we really should be doing 
is a lot of cocaine. Yes, lots of it. Just an absurd amount of cocaine if you think about it. Okay, well, my dealer knowledge taps out of weed, so I can't help you there. That's okay, I know someone. I've, I've never done it before. You've never I done just, cocaine? No, of, co of course not, Peyton. <sighs> Uh, no, just this kid from my high school started selling out of his frat this last year. So, I know somebody. How the fuck does that happen? I don't know how to get fucking cocaine and little Miss sweatshirt over there gets fucking get cocaine. You know what? Fuck that. So, you got the thousand dollars. Um, you said it was supposed to be a greyhound. Hey, it's an Italian greyhound. <laughs> not to be rude, that looks like a pug that they didn't smash the face on. Hey, but... You should see it run. The holy cannoli, you know? Alright, so what's the plan? What? What do you mean? What's, what's our plan? Our plan of action? That guy's trying to jerk us off over here. Hey, what's the plan? Dude, I don't know. I've yet to master the art of the grocery list. How is, what, I don't know what a plan of action is. What do I do? Look at you, okay? You, you're all dressed up, you got a fancy new haircut, a nice new leash. You're a man of action, all right? Okay, okay. You take what you need. Yeah. Yeah, tell that guy off, damn it. I will. Put that son of a bitch in his place. I just might, okay. Hell, he's probably gonna just give us the dog. And that's way better than going back there and having Owen and Chris make fun of us for the next month. Yeah. It's your dog. Let's do it. Let me tell you something here, Mr. Eddie Spaghetti. I could hear you twos that entire time. Oh. Yeah. So... It's a maybe for the dog, or...? Maybe. No. But, you can have some leftover Italian zazits. I'll have some, yeah. So Beth was telling me you guys have some flurries in your forecast. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd like to do a lot of cocaine, right guys? Great, just great. So for the, all of you, it's gonna be an eight ball. You're gonna want an eight ball. So, $200. Oh, I'm not doing any. Yeah, I don't do fucking cocaine at 4 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah, I don't think yeah, we need I, that much. I think, it, you know what, we do, sold. Dude, they're never gonna let me live this one down. Just act confident. We'll figure a way to lie ourselves out of it or something. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, and if you wanna be in the fiddler on the roof, you can be the fiddle. If you wanna be the fiddle, you can be the fiddler! What the hell did we miss? We did a shit ton of cocaine. Hollywood stars do a bunch of cocaine and then they write a bunch of stuff and it's really good stuff. So we decided we could do a bunch of cocaine and after we did a bunch of cocaine, we rolled a bunch of stuff. Damn it! Oh, wait, wait, shit. God. Really? Where? Where's, where's the stuff you guys wrote? Not the table! The table! This was a good idea for sure, you know? Yeah, you guys could have just asked me for weed though. I smoke all the time. Beth, why didn't you tell us this earlier? I wasn't just gonna give away my boyfriend's weed. That's so nice. That's so fucking nice, like on another level nice. For real, for real, like, the type of niceness I've never experienced with another person in my life. generally too cold towards everyone in my life. Nice in theory to everyone I've never met. 
you know, it's this big crazy idea of your of your beliefs being different than who you are, you know? who you are on a day to day basis. I look at my my life and I and at my schooling and at my my you know my deeds and my my voting record and I see a, a man you know with morals and and virtue, confidence, and then I. I look at my interactions with people on a day-to-day -day level, you know, with, with friends and family and, and strangers and, and women, and I wonder, like, will I ever experience a niceness like that, you know, on a level so, so intimate, you know, just like such a fiery love, you know. The fire rises. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was really fucking weird, man.